then when we went to suchitra academy by looking at the campus but we were keeping on asking them why don't you start a new curriculum like um, ib or cambridge or something recently this project based learning for the past 5 6 years they are offering it's a very vast syllabus when i thought like hi welcome to your slate your very own school search engine that helps you find the best schools for your kids based on various filters and parameters today we are miss indra neela whose kids are studying in Suchitra Academy which is in Suchitra Junction near Kutbullapur. Uh, her kids have been studying there for the last 8 years and let's speak to her and understand what she thinks about the school and her honest opinion about it. Ma'am uh, to begin with the 8 years ago what made you to choose the school over the other schools in the same locality? Yeah, that's a actually a really interesting question. Actually, uh, we were in search of uh, schools near Suchitra Academy. I mean, so in Kutbullapur because we were shifting from Germany to this place where we are staying. So we went to many places in and around. And like uh, uh, my sister herself is a teacher, so she took me, I took her along with me. Then when we went to Suchitra Academy by looking at the campus, green Lux Green campus. So we were stunned and then my kids are just in nursery at that, that time so they showed us the school around and when we saw the classroom it was stunning like it's a very big classroom for the small kids like so nobody will provide such a place for the kids and the hygiene we saw everything we saw we explored bathrooms we explored everything because they are very tiny kids that time so we want everything uh, like home away from home like that so when we saw everything like they have multi purpose hall by that time they have amphitheater everything is well organized they have art rooms they have computer labs everything is there so we thought this is the perfect place for my kids great so that's why we chose suchitra academy great and uh, can you tell us which syllabus did you choose back then and any spe- specific rationale behind choosing the syllabus yeah actually that time uh, they were offering only cbsc board so i joined them in cbsc because the nursery junior kg senior kg doesn't matter which board you do so we yeah. affiliated to cbsc that time but we were keeping on asking them why don't you start a new curriculum like um, ib or cambridge or something then uh, they said we are uh, working on it for the for two years but uh, by the time my son entered uh, grade 1 uh, in cbsc they got uh, cambridge curriculum so immediately i shifted them to cambridge curriculum because we want them to explore more cbsc is also very good in suchitra because uh, they don't uh, teach it like a cbsc curriculum they use so many uh, va- varied modes of teaching like uh, explaining more there is a uh, project based learning methods are there there they don't teach normally and they even uh, exam papers also it's not like question answer type you have to think really the child has to think out of the box to answer any question it was in cbsc also so when we thought that they are bringing cambridge if cbsc is this good how good the cambridge curriculum would be because of the international curriculum based thing so then immediately i shifted both my kids to cambridge curriculum Got and it's really good got it mam uh, now after 8 years uh, because your kids are now in higher standards what do you yeah. think of the academic orientation of the school and also the quality of teaching the yeah, quality of teaching is uh, really good and they keep on improving themselves like they organize many for the teachers they mainly organize many workshops and for cambridge they definitely need certification so all the teachers are cambridge certified and even cbsc teachers are very much uh, like i speak to many friends because teachers are like uh, friends to us because we know them since many years so like everybody is well uh, works with their what they are doing with the kids and this uh, recently this project based learning for the past 5 6 years they are offering for the science subject mainly it's really good kids need to explore more and teachers are like very much uh, they know what they are doing and they know what they are teaching and they are impacting kids in such a way that they are exploring more it's like more like exploration at the home at uh, i mean this age kids are totally digital kids so they know technology more and these teachers guide them in using the technology for their education got it that is and very good the general perception is cambridge syllabus has vast content to cover does it make yeah. 
any sort of that does it give any sort of pressure to the students after coming back home to cover a lot of content what sort of pressure do they go through before the examinations and how does the school yeah, support yeah, yeah. in that process yes. it's really really what you said is correct that is true it's a very vast syllabus when i thought like like there was a perception that everybody used to think cambridge is very like nothing it's easy it's just uh, they don't even need to write exams they don't need to study at home it was like that perception was but it is entirely wrong what the kids are learning now i could see that i learned in later stages of my education but they know many things before and during exams time and all they need to prepare in the sense school itself prepares them such that they don't need to study much at home because the worksheets what they do at school or the uh, practice sheets what they do at school will make them understand that just uh, they can go to the exam and they can answer it it's not that only for math they need to struggle a bit because they have to practice more for math for english and science it's uh, really good the kids ne- don't need to pressurize themselves much Mm-hmm. but the syllabus is very vast that i can say mm-hmm. they have to learn more they have to think out of the box definitely it, when it comes to science Got because it. everything is practical oriented mamma uh, since you kids have been studying there for 8 years can you tell us the fee structure that you currently paying and uh, also tell us your thoughts on whether it is high or uh, yeah. it is good value I'll for me or not yeah please Yeah, uh, term fees, uh, it's like three terms you can pay the fees, definitely. That's a good thing for the parents and also you can pay uh, at a time also. They will give some discount for that. And when it comes to term fees, it's like 50 to 70K uh, for CBSE and Cambridge is uh, plus 30, like that. It is like that. Um, but when it increases from the grades, like uh, stage one will have some fee structure and definitely it is like that. uh bus and food are separate bus is based on the distance uh, you need to pay and food uh, they offer uh, food for the kids like lunch they provide lunch they provide snacks and they provide milk in the school so for that you need to pay and it's a compulsory thing that uh, kids have to take the food uh, from the school okay. we feel that is also good thing because see uh, we are varied community people so our food will be different but school offers a unique based uh, i mean planned food for the kids which they need to take so how happy so are you with the quality of food uh, are the kids enjoying it quality of food yeah yes sir they are happy like um, kids are kids they nowadays they are more used to junk food outside so definitely they will complain sometimes but uh, it's very good they uh, they ask parents to visit uh, lunch breaks with i mean you can just go and have the lunch there to see any day like you just you need to take an appointment just half an hour before you have to inform so they don't manipulate us or anything just uh, you just enter have the lunch with the kids and uh, see the quality of the food That, that is really question uh, regarding access huh. to the school and access to the management in case if you have any questions or concerns so how easy it is to reach out to the teacher or management to speak to them yeah teacher we have uh, every day you can call them during particular timings like uh, every teacher will uh, message us that these are her timings because they also have their personal lives you can't disturb them every day so uh, you if you call during that time definitely they will answer and they will uh, uh, talk to you nicely i mean uh, they will uh, uh, i mean they will solve your issue if it there is anything they will definitely respond and if you are not satisfied with the teacher level you can take the appointment with the higher management and also they will uh, give you a particular appointment and it's uh, very easy to reach i mean just based on appointment but because there are many parents not like a one per parent uh, but it is reachable even uh, everybody is friendly there they don't uh, Uh, treat us like something uh, okay these are they are coming for complaining or something nothing like that they are friendly they will give appointment very easily but everything is definitely appointment based only got it and uh, ma'am if you have to be really critical and tell us where the school can still get better at what are those areas yeah. that you want to mention and we also feel that suchitra should have more branches for the people in the outskirts not only in suchitra junction one place so this we are asking can you open some other branch also for the because some parents will be moving to somewhere 
in the city because hyderabad is a very big city so if they have another in a another corner of the city it would be helpful for other parents too because kids have to travel a lot to reach the school buses start at 6:30 for some kids got it and ma'am before we wind up on scale of 10 with 10 being the highest how likely are you to recommend suchitra academy school to any of your kitten kin or peers yeah definitely it is 10 on 10 uh, because i myself am satisfied parent but you i didn't mention you regarding the extra curricular activities and all i wanted to bring that to a point that uh, kids are every year kids are uh, um, allowed to choose three as their extra curricular activities one is uh, pa one is va visual arts performing arts and um, one uh, some other three are there so they can choose them and uh, they have wide variety from uh, they will teach from ukulele to uh, keyboard drums everything in uh, uh, them and also cricket they have a good, very good badminton court swimming skating everything is there kids can enjoy like every year they can explore one new sport yeah. or if they continue from uh, stage 1 to 10 the, in the same thing they can excel in it also and also art craft sculpting embroidery everything is there this i did not mention you before got it thank you thank you so very thank much you. for that and yeah. uh, not just the information a lot of opinions that you shared will also be of great yeah, help for other parents different. who are looking for good schools and on behalf yes. of all those parents uh, we once again thank you for giving us your time ma'am thank you very much thank you